Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to make those drawer liners and tool organizers out of these floor mats that we often buy for a lot cheaper than what you can buy online. I know I checked online and there are some there, six by six inch pieces, eight pieces, so that's four square feet for $15.99. That's four bucks a square foot. So I went to Harbor Freight. Actually, I went and got some extra today after I saw how well this worked and picked up this for, they're on sale today for $8.99. And out of this, you get 17 square feet at $8.99. Well, even at 10 bucks, that makes it 59 cents a square foot versus four bucks a square foot. So, and these are half inch thick also. So, stay tuned here and I'll show you how I do these drawer liners and tool organizers. I got a bunch of these mats here in the laundry room so my wife's feet don't get cold in the winter time on this cold concrete and I figured out that these would be great liners from my drawers with my tools for the extra mats I don't use. Also you can buy these quite a few for about 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. I think they're playing gray color. These color ones came from Sam's Club but this will be a great alternative and cheaper than those foam mats that you buy online which go for a lot Lot more money. So here I've got one of these mats, just one section of it, yellow on one side, black on the other, and I can cut this up to fit like in this drawer here and organize these tools. And this is just one example. I've got other drawers I can organize and other things. This will be a lot cheaper than those mats that you buy online uh, for a lot more money. And these are only about 10 bucks for a bunch of squares at Harbor Freight. Okay, so I took this three foot straight edge that I've got here and lined it up with the edges on these tabs. And what I'm going to do is take and run razor knife here, cut off these tabs so I can have a good clean edge. Uh, for doing this for in drawers and stuff like this, you don't have to be real exacting. I just cut through these and pretty much scoring these. And then I'm going to come back later and cut them all the way through. Gonna trim these off here like that so I'll have some good edges on there. Then I'll measure over and cut this out to a size that fits into my drawer. Alright, so I've got this cut to size here to fit inside this drawer. And fits in like a glove pretty much well. Now I can I took all the things out of the drawer here and laid them out on this side here. Same order I had them in here in the drawer. What I'll do is take these pieces one at a time, set them on there, trace out pattern of it so it'll sit down there and stay in position and not shift around as you close the drawer in and out. Also because if you left it just sitting on top of here as a drawer liner this will be sitting a little bit proud and it may run into any clearances uh, for the drawer to operate. So Basically, that's it. I'll make some cutouts here, fit my tools in. Hey, so here, maybe you can see how I'm tracing these out. Just using a kind of a Sharpie marker here and just drawing lines around them where I want to position them at. Okay, so here I've got this drawer liner put in. I've cut out all the spaces to hold my things, which is my sanding disc, screwdrivers and chisels and trammel points and rulers and squares. And I cut out some holes here so I can get a finger in to get something out uh, where I need it. And then I cut out a hole here to hold this box with miscellaneous pens and pencils and markers and so forth. And this will work great. Okay, so this is how I have it set up in my shop cart, which parks underneath the wing of my table saw. And that goes in, clears everything, works well, slides in and out great, so perfect. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and you got something out of it and you got some inspiration, please give me a like. Also, share it with your family and friends and fellow craftspersons. And please subscribe so you can see what I may come up with next. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on anything. Also, I appreciate all your comments. As I say, if the ladies don't find you handsome, at least they should find you handy. Thank you.